Okay, I'm going to uh, discuss about this question. Okay, the question here mentioned actually the diagram show the pentagon A, B, C, D, E is the parameter of the pentagon. So basically, we know uh, the 18 cm here is for the parameter of this pentagon. And from the symbol here, actually, we can know that uh, we have 1x, 2x, 3x, and 1y, 2y. So basically, the parameter is just like it's just like 3x plus 2y and then he asks you to find the values of x and y when the area is maximum okay so when the area is maximum we know something like da dx will equal to zero because maximum or minimum for area for volume we know we have to differentiate and then make it equals to zero okay this is some basic information from this question okay so from here i roughly will got some idea Okay, so first is the parameter. So I start from a parameter 1x, 2x, 3x plus 2y. So here I'm going to write something like 3x plus 2y will equals to 18 cm. Alright, of course later I know the 3x plus 2y I going to substitute into the area in order to like uh, form the equation. So you can either make x as a subject or y as a subject. It doesn't matter. It will give you the same answer. So but then okay here I try to make y as a subject. So here I got 2y equals to 18 minus 3x. Alright so from here y is actually equals to 18 minus 3x over 2. Okay, so I, I will call this one 1 because later I'm going to substitute this one into the area. So how to find this area? Okay, so in order to find this area, you must have the basic understanding. So let me draw the area out. Okay, I just roughly draw. Okay, one line. Then we got two line. Three. Okay, let me draw the triangle out first. Okay, you will see something like this. Oh, obviously, I'll get the triangle nicer a bit. Okay, from here, we know actually here is actually equal to x given by the question. Here is given the, the x also. However, b to e, the length b to e here obviously is x also because you will see b to e actually same length with cd, so x. When you got all sides of the triangle is x, mean this is equilateral triangle. So when this is equal equilateral triangle, triangle means what? Mean all of the angle inside here is sixty degree. Here is sixty. Here will be sixty, and then here will be sixty also. So overall, all is sixty degree. So now I want to find the area for the rectangle at the bottom here. This is very easy to find. This is just x multiple y, and then we have to plus the area of triangle. So I find the area of triangle first. So area of this triangle. Let me write a stand for area of triangle. I use uh, the B, C, sin A, the formula, two sides and one angle in between, so we'll become uh, X, okay, sorry, uh, no, the formula is 1 over 2, A, B, sin C, so 1 over 2, and then let me call it X, and X, and sin 60. Alright, so, okay, this is, the formula for area for this triangle and then I plus the rectangle rectangle is uh, like uh, length multiple y something like that so I will call it x multiple y so I call it x y alright so let me simplify this one so size 60 if not mistaken is like square root 3 over 2 so basically from here I roughly you got some information so this one is something like 1 over 2 x square sine 60 is we multiply square root 3 over 2 plus x y okay so okay then I can straight away substitute my y into 2 okay so basically I can write something like here like substitute 1 into 2 so you can see something like this so I my what is my y my y will going to be 18 minus 3x over 2 okay then I just plus everything together this is 1 over 2 multiple square root of 3 over 2 so basically this is something like okay x square and then square root of 3 over 4 plus this one is is basically is just you, after you multiple you will got 18x minus 3x square 
over 2. Alright, and then this is the area. So we know when the question say maximum mean dA dx have to be 0. So I'm going to write dA dx will equal to 0. So when 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 it's maximum or minimum. Alright, so dA dx mean we have to differentiate this one. So differentiate this one, I recommend you like separate everything because it's easy for you to differentiate. So let me write one more time. Basically this is, uh, oops, uh, this is basically this is like square root 3 over 4 x square. So this is square root 3 over 4 x square plus, okay, this is 18 x over 2, right? So I call it 9 x minus 3 over 2 x square. Okay, if like this it will, will be very easy for you to differentiate. Alright, so when I start to differentiate, okay, so what is my dA dx? So my dA dx first is differentiate, we move the 2 in front and then here we minus 1, right? So basically I will got 2 square root 3 over 4x plus 9x will give us 9 minus the 2 actually will bring in front becomes 6, okay? 6 over 2 x will equals to 0 because this is dA dx right so from here actually we can easily get the values of x all right so this one obviously we can simplify we left 3 and then this one we can simplify also we have left square root 3 over 2 so basically this is something like 9 plus square root 3 over 2x uh, and then we minus 3x equals to 0 all right if you're not sure uh, how to solve like square root 3 uh, over 2x minus 3x you can actually you can straight away press the calculator yeah the calculator will give you something like okay okay so I move the okay I move the whole things to the other side okay so or I can write something like this square root 3 okay over 2 so basically this one like over 2 okay let me see over 2x minus 3x equals to negative 9 so here actually if you solve it you will got negative 2 point okay let's say I call it 1 3 1 3 x equals to negative 9 then we can get the x easily but normally for this kind of question you won't get like decimal for that but I'm not sure why this question actually have decimal so you just use like 9 divided by 2.13 yeah, then you have got something like okay, the x actually equals to 4.225 cm. Okay, so this is where the x will equal to 4.225 cm when the area is maximum. So he asks you find the values of x and y when the area is maximum. So we got the x ready, we can easily got y by substitute the x into 1. So here I'm going to write substitute. Okay, let me call this one as 3. Substitute 3 into 1 because this is my 1, right? So I will got y actually will equals to 18 minus 3 4.225 over 2. Then I can easily get the my y value. So just like 18 minus 3 multiple 4.225 and then divided by 2. So I can get my value actually for y is equals to 2.663 cm. Okay, so I can easily get my x and y by using this method. Of course, the difficult part of this question is finding the area for this triangle. So for some students, you might not know how, how actually this formula works. Let me roughly draw this thing out to give you some idea. Okay. You can use this formula whenever your triangle do not have 90 degree. Okay, it's work like this. Let me call this one, okay, B, C, this is A, and then this one is angle A. So remember, whenever you want to find the area, so I'm going to write area equals to 1 over 2 multiple B multiple C and size the angle A. Then you can get the area already so of course this formula you have to memorize but for SBM student I think the exam going to give this formula but I'm not sure they use BC or they use BC or AB but it's the same thing so whenever you want to find area you must have two sides 
and one angle on between. Then only you can uh, use use the uh, use these formulas to actually help you to find. So yeah, I really hope this formula is really help you a lot. And then after you got the area, you must get the ideal maximum means what? Maximum actually means you have to do something like the d x equals to zero. However, in at the beginning, if you make x as a subject, so you have everything here in y. So here you can you might be able to change to like something like da dy equals zero. You will got the same answer for everything. Alright, so I really hope this video actually can help you understand about this question. Thanks for watching.